Hi, I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's HIT workout, high intensity interval training with low impact moves. How do we make that happen? We add dumbbells. By adding that weight, we get that heart rate into that fat burning zone. If you don't have dumbbells, go to your pantry, get, grab a couple cans of soup, or go to your fridge and grab a couple bottles of water. That will work just fine to create that resistance. If you like efficient workouts that keep you safe, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Time to burn some fat. Bring your knees up, swing those arms, big movements, deep breaths, oxygenating the blood, it's pumping out to those muscles right now. The muscles want oxygen for fuel. When they're burning oxygen for fuel, you're burning fat. So, let it go in here. And this is cardio, so this heart rate will be pumping the whole time, I promise. Reach out. We've got eight exercises. We'll do them 20 seconds each, then 30, then 40, then 30, then 20. So, we have 10 second rest between each. If you need a longer rest, take a longer rest, especially as we get up into that endurance, 40 second rounds. And I'll remind you then too, if you feel like your heart rate is too high, having trouble talking, saying a sentence, you need to dial it back a little bit. And that just means end, you know, 10 seconds early in the exercise so that you increase your rest time. So that 10 seconds becomes 25 seconds. That will give you a little bit more recovery. Grab two weights, starting with a deadlift. Weight in the heels as you come up. Elbows lead, weight up to the chest, up and down. Now I am leaning weight in my heels as I come up, drive my hips forward. So hips back, hips forward, hips back and forward. Leading with those elbows is going to keep that weight at chest level. Do not twist it that way, okay? I'm going to pull it up leading with those elbows. Okay, I'm going to skate and punch the weight down. So it's a push and a pull. Let's we'll start with your right arm first. So step to your left. Push, pull. Bring that toe and back. Get low if you can. You protect those knee joints. If you have knee pain, you just stand it up here. Most moves, almost all of them, can be modified so that you can do my videos. And I'm all about giving you those modifications every video. So, the past couple of months I've really focused on that and moving forward definitely. All right, hammer curl with the leg lift. Here we go. Lift, other side. Lift. I started doing workouts really regularly in the late 30s. I became a trainer, soccer kicks with a chop, right at about 40, so that was 19 years ago. And I did, ready, right like first, chop across, chop. I did a high impact hit, sometimes more than once, because I was running classes in my gyms. So I did that high impact work, and I am feeling it, but not in a good way. So that's kind of where this channel has evolved to, which is keeping you safe, okay? We want you to protect your joints. Even if you can do it, if it doesn't hurt jumping around, you want to do a minimum push and twist. Minimum high impact, like if you're a runner, run a couple days a week, you do this low impact work opposite the running. That's that high impact work every day. You can do it now, perhaps. If you're younger, in the 40s, in that range. Whew, all right. Rear leg lift with the bicep curl. But you want to be able to do exercise well into your later years. Here we go. Curl it. Curl it. So by having safe moves, you're going to keep your joints healthy longer, hopefully a lot longer. And if you're struggling with painful joints, this strength work, 
modifications even will increase your muscle tone, which can help with that level of pain. You're gonna lift to a kickback, right here, lift, other side. Just the back of your arm. I want you to feel in the tricep. Drop the shoulders, don't lift them up near your knees. Knees right in your ears. That would be interesting. Not up by your knee ears, okay? So you want to see knees. Let those shoulders be fairly relaxed here. But, all right, for this last one, we're going with one leg. We're going to put our feet together. You got a hinge, slight bend, or a deep bend. So we can swing one side. Come up, other side. Here's modification. Keep the weight in your heels. Flat back, abs tight, and head above your heart. You can do the bending. Stick as low as you can. As you come up, drive the hips forward and squeeze. All right, moving on to our 30 second round. Starting at the top, holding both weights, deadlift to high row. We're gonna slow down the pace a little bit because this is 30 seconds. It's not a sprint and it's not a jog. It's kind of in between. Down and up, confusing the body, making the heart do something different than it did for the last couple minutes. Keep it guessing. See how that feels longer? Watch your form. And up, good. All right, skating punch. Punching with the right. Push and pull, remember? Step into your left. Ready? Here we go. Push it, pull it. Push it, pull it. Just like that. And bring that toe way back if you can. Go deep in this if you'd like. If it feels good. Otherwise, up top is fine. So I activate the muscles. They're still going to work. And as it gets stronger, you may find you can get a little lower. Okay. All right, ready? Hammer curl with the leg raise. Slowing down the pace again a little bit, right? Because we want to go for the full 30 seconds. We can't. Here we go. Lift. And more. Lift and more. See how many rounds I can get through without mixing up the exercises. They're right up there. You can see what's next. I can too, but I look quick. We can go into this one. And we will go back and finish. Don't worry. Anything we might miss, we'll get. I'm gonna put one weight down and stop and kick. Just a little easier, a little less weight. Kick it, kick it. A little easier to chop. We'll go with your right leg first. Ready? Chop it. All those glutes stretch right there. Ready? We're gonna get some glute work. While we're contracting them, we already have. Squeezing as we come up out of, say, the deadlift. It out. We'll do a little more here in the second half than we did in the first. Good. Grabbing my two weights now for that alt and press. Here's that glute work. Squeeze the bun. Press with your right arm first. Ready? Deep breath. Here we go. Push in. Push. Abs tight. Work that core. Work those holds. Full press. Right, not too fast. Resistance, this weight. It's the heart rate where we need it. We don't need to speed along. All right, ready for those rear leg lifts into the glute in the back with the bicep curls. Deep breath, right leg first. Ready? Here we go. Curl elbows in. My standing leg has a little bend in it. You can't even see the bend, but it means it's not locked. Lock your leg, get your balance before you raise that leg up in the back. Try to rush it, and then we lose our balance. We want to do this balance work. So important. Bring those biceps to pretty arms. Lift and 
the left. Take the biceps, let's do the triceps. Deep breath. We're again there. Here we go. Tricep left. Take it back. Left. Left. Shoulders down. Can see we go like that. Lift up. Relax the shoulders. Make the tricep the back of your arm to work here. Came out a little fast on this one. I'm going to pace myself. I'm going to share the pace myself in the next round. If you will too, we will slow it down. So we go into endurance. The top of this ladder. We'll start going back down the other side. We call it a pyramid two. One way down. And back up. And back down. 40 minute, 40 second rounds at the top. Feet together. Hand your squat. Swing. And up. Abs tight. Drive hips forward. Feel the thigh engage there. As you squeeze those glutes, you'll feel it. You can just spread your legs a little bit for balance. Just watch the knees. Keep that weight wide enough. You're not hitting those knees. There it is. All right, you ready for the top one? Ready as we'll ever be because we are here. All right, from the top, 40 seconds. Slow it down. Think about the moves. Down lift your row. Down, row it up. Hinge down, weight in your heels. You're warmed up now. You really hinge, feel the back of your legs. Hips back, then hips forward and squeeze. Remember leading with the elbows so that, that weight stays at chest level. So it's if you had a bar across and you're holding one bar. It's kind of how you're holding these weights. Nice flat back. Look about five feet in front of you. That'll keep your neck nice and aligned. There we go, endurance round one, get this up. Now, like I said, you need to stop 10 seconds early, 15 seconds early, take that extra rest, all right? I want you to stay with us. Punch in your right arm, skate and punch. Push and pull. In the beginning, Rests are necessary. I mean, rests are necessary always, but especially in the beginning. I've seen it so many times, coming on too strong. Have some kindness to yourself, <laughs> you know? Be kind, you don't need to beat yourself up. I want you to ease into a nice, doable program where over time you are going to get the results. So just stick with me, it's all about consistency. Good. All right, onto that hammer curl, side leg raise. A lot of glute here, nice and slow. So, consistency. And get four or five days a week, strength and cardio work. Maybe a couple days of strength, a couple days of cardio, or a workout like this kind of combines them both. And if you don't have 30 minutes, it's a 30 minute workout. There are 10-minute workouts and 15-minute workouts on the channel. They're very targeted. So, for example, a 10-minute glute workout, all glute. 10-minute shoulder, all shoulder. Do a 10-minute workout. Consistency. I know you can find 10 minutes in your day. And your body, then, will start to like exercise. I know you're saying, yeah, fat chance, Rhoda. I mean it. I see it. I've worked with clients for 20 years. That switch happens. And it's likable, it's likable again, like when we were kids, ready? Soccer kick. And all we want to do is go out and play. Use our bodies. You can get back there. Where it feels good and it's fun. Not to mention, you're gonna get results. And that's really fun. Looking and feeling good and strong and healthy. That's my goal for all of us. I mean, we're not going to have road bumps, right? I've already had a couple. But when you're healthy, you want to use that press overhead. When you're healthy, for example, cancer diagnosis, or if you're surgery, ready to twist and press, I'm going to recover from that surgery quicker than someone who's been on the couch for the last 20 years, right? And if that's you, and you're here now, 
That's fantastic because every day you're getting healthier and healthier and stronger and stronger. So when you face something that is not a welcome trade, you have the strength and the endurance to fight. That's what it's all about. Fighting through it, working hard, staying healthy, and getting back to health. So, you have that bump in the road, bicep curl with the rear. You're gonna have to take a break at that point probably, right? I know I did. But, when I get back to it, it's easy. Because I had the lean muscle, I had the cardio endurance, it took six weeks off, maybe lost a little bit, but within two to three weeks, right back to where I was. Versus not having exercised, having a major surgery, and I have seen this, and it's very sad. Never getting back to where you were before the surgery. In some cases, that's because of the surgery. And in many cases, it's because of the lack of conditioning. So, give yourself a fighting chance, right? Okay, lecture's over. I get on my soapbox, I know. But it's worth thinking about, you know? Because here you are, lift and breath, lift. Twist and lift. Here you are doing something good for yourself, and I want to encourage you to keep going. Is this your first workout ever, or in a long time, and you wake up sore tomorrow, go to the stretch playlist on the channel. There are anywhere from seven to a 10 minute stretch. I just want you to march in place for maybe two to three minutes before you do a stretch, get the blood to the muscles, and then stretch, recover. And then come back next time you do the work, hopefully on the third day, you're never going to be a sore again. All right, good. Suitcase, I love this one. Feet together or as close as you can possibly do it. Hinge or squat. Swing your weight. Ready? Switch hands. The hard part is over. You are over the hump here. So our last 40 second round. So funny in this type of workout, this format, that I kind of put together. I'm sure someone else has done this before, but I just kind of thought. This is a cool idea from once ago. People seem to like it. This, the 30 second rounds and the 20 second rounds coming up, they're gonna seem easy. And remember, easier. Anyway, when we did them the first time, they seemed hard. But now we're very warmed up. We've got the moves. And now it's gonna be short, comparatively. It's 40 seconds, good. All right, so far so good. I haven't skipped an exercise. On to our deadlift, high row. Weight in your heels, hips go back. Weight close to the body. Pull it up, close to the body, elbows lead. You feel the back of the shoulders, the top of the shoulders. Squeeze in here. About a 30 second round, so I'm picking up the pace just a little bit. We're just jogging, and our next round will be sprinting, but this is somewhere in between. Good. And our skaters, one of my favorites, also, along with the suitcase swing. Punching and pushing and pulling with your right arm first. Step and left. Here we go. Push and pull. Get low if you can. Bottom where it feels good, no pain. Okay. Back out of any pain. If it's painful here, you're going to step higher. One thing that my clients do is sleep in compression. If your knees bother them, those compression sleeves that you put up over your leg and they wrap around your knee. Good. And under a hammer. When you wear them during the day, you can cut off blood flow. It's certainly hard to bend your knees. And the back of your leg gets sore, right? Actually, the best time to wear that is overnight. Put that compression sleeve on before bed. You sleep in it, it keeps your joint very stable overnight. The time that you're in bed is healing and recovery time. So you're helping with that by keeping it nice and still with that compression right where it needs to be. So it has all that time to focus on healing versus during the day 
when you're moving around, and it can help it feel better during the day. I can agree with that. But when we get outside of kicks overnight, it's really where the healing happens. So think about trying that. If you're not doing that, you have any problems. Get out. Can you hear me? Hopping and bumping. This is a hard workout. I know that. I want you to do it anyways. <laughs> Take a longer rest. Use lighter weight. Do these without weight. Do find where it's doable for you. And before you know it, here you are. You will be doing the whole thing. All right, twist and press. Squeeze the glute, work the buns. Twist, twist. Uh, let's go. We've got about six minutes and you're done. Not even. This will be a rest. Good. And lots of shoulder work. Pretty shoulders. Makes everything look good. And hammer curl. Oh, I'm sorry. Bicep curl. Curl like that. Ready? Deep breath. Here we go. Slow it down if you need to. Take a longer rest. Feeling accomplished yet? Are you feeling proud yet? I say to my clients all the time, I'm so proud of you, and I totally mean it. This is hard, all right? Be proud. Be proud of doing something good for you. All right, so hip backs. You make the rest of your day better. If it's nighttime, you're gonna sleep well. One thing about exercise in the evening. A lot of people need a couple hours after exercise before they go to sleep. They can if you're asleep if you do it way too late, like if you exercise and go right to bed. Now I know people that can do that and it works out great for them. But if you find you're not sleeping well after an evening workout, put a little more space between the workout and your bedtime if you can. And that doesn't mean extend your bedtime. That means try and do your workout a little earlier. Because rest is number one. Rest, hydration, good food, exercise. Ready? Swing it. Those four things can improve your life. I can't even tell you. Like you said, I've been doing this a long time. I've seen so many women be successful. They change their lives. They really do. They gain the confidence to go find a new job. Better able to run around have people with kids, which is a lot. Those of us that have done it know. All right, you ready? Wrap it around. Here's your sprint. Give me all you got. A little left in the tank. Push it if you can, okay? Down and up. Down and up. Slow this down if you need to. If you've been with me a while, then you can pick up the pace in this last round. Well, let's do it. Skate punch. So far, so good. I haven't missed one. I don't think I have. If I did, I don't remember it. I didn't catch it. Ready? Skate punch. Punch it. Let's move. Come on. That was tight. Feel more. Come on. Side leg left curl, a little bit of speed here if you can. Deep breath. Remember, get those feet under you though before you lift the other side. Here it goes. Look. My glutes are burning. Are your glutes burning? I hope so. They should be. Good. All right, onto our. Soccer kick. It's got to feel good. On these glutes, a little bit of a stretch. We'll keep your right leg first, chopping over. 
Here we go. Chop it. Chop. Get up. Come on. Yell up and I'm up and hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. Sometimes you can. It's there. Trust me. Good. Back to our two weights. Alternating press and twist. Back to the glute, but it's the back, not the side. Larger muscle, a little easier. Here we go. Press. Remember how we're going slow in our 40 second round. This round, I want you to move it. If you can, okay? Good. Right. Three or four rounds left. Three. After this, one minute of work. You got it. Come on, push hard. Yeah, that background noise, that is actually the wind. Fall on yours, the window's open. Here we go. Ready? It's summertime. And it's a chilly day. Kind of nice. I have to do some painting. I have to paint a deck. So, windy's not good, but cooler's good, for sure. Alright, I'm going to put it down to one more round, but we do have those strikes at the back, so Alright, go speed with me, dance, make a dance, have fun, lift, lift. You're like, Rhoda, have fun, you've been hard. I know, but we're almost done. That alone is fun. Alright, right down. Last round. Okay, you should take swings. Hinder squat. Well, you got 20 seconds. Burn it up. Ready, go. Now we have a nice little stretch, which will be very welcome, right? And if you have more time and you want a longer stretch, like you were saying earlier, there's a stretch playlist on the channel. Hop over there, find something a little longer, because our stretch is all going to be in two and a half minutes or so. You really should stretch longer than that. Hard because it's busy. So we do these workouts, and like not enough stretching. It's kind of something that we sacrificed. You did it. Good for you. But we shouldn't. So if you have the time, so back to up. And I know we're busy. When you said 30 minutes, I can fit that in, but I can't fit in the stretch. Do the stretch with me right here. Maybe it's earlier in your day, later in the day. Start to feel yourself. Then a little tight. Maybe then you can just do some of these moves here. And elongate those muscles. Reach up and over, really lean out of this. Arm is back. And let's go to the other side. And I'll take the hands, clasp them in front, round your shoulders forward, stretching across the upper back. This is a slouched position. You want to do this stretch before you do a stretch where you take your shoulders back. Because this is what we want to do to counteract the fact that we sit at desks, many of us, to work, hunched over a computer. So this takes those muscles in the opposite direction. Catch yourself on the back. Let's stretch out those triceps. We have five rounds of triceps there. Our weight should be coming down into the normal range. Let's switch sides. Fantastic. Bring the arms down. Let's roll the shoulders. Big shoulder rolls. Relax your neck. Let's go the other direction. Let's just take the ear in towards one shoulder. And then stretch along the side of the neck. Held those weights for 30 minutes. Just put some strain on the neck. So we'll work that out a little bit. Bring your head up and then just drop it. And with that, let's slowly take a deep breath, big smile, deep breath. Exhale. One more time, deep breath. And exhale, pat yourself on the back, thumbs up for me, congratulations, 
please come back often. I will be here for you. We have new video content every single week. Subscribe to the channel and that content will show up on your YouTube page when you open YouTube. Have a great day.